Hey, what's going on, guys? I just want to um, talk to you guys about how God sees you, how God sees me. What does God think? What is his viewpoint, his perspective when you and I fall, when you and I live less than our potential in Christ Jesus? When we walk short of our complete identity as sons and daughters of God, as those who have become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Let me talk to you about the Lamborghini and the Honda, okay? So us, we were all born humans, right? Now imagine a Honda from the inside out. It's a Honda on the outside, it's a Honda on the inside, Honda parts, Honda motor, Honda uh, engine, everything about it is a Honda. That's us, we were born as Hondas, right? Now, we believed in Jesus and we were justified by our faith, forgiven of our sins, and the Holy Spirit came inside of our hearts according to scripture, right? And that made our inside, our heart different. So now picture the outside of a Honda, but now picture all the inside, all that stuff that was in the Honda out, completely yanked out and filled and replaced with Lamborghini parts, a Lamborghini motor, engine, everything about it on the inside is a Lamborghini. However, everything about it on the outside, it still looks like a Honda. That's exactly what happened to you and I. We were born again, but as you can tell, I still have the same tattoos. As you can tell, I still look like the Hispanic guy, 26 year old that I am. Because I did not receive a new body. I did not receive new flesh. I still have the same flesh I was born with, but I was born again, born of the spirit, because in my heart, the Holy Spirit came inside. So now, Look at the Honda on the outside, but a Lamborghini on the inside. A lot of us have a problem that when we look in the mirror, we still see Honda. And if we're not reading the word of God, if we're not focused on what's really true, what's really our reality because of Jesus Christ, we will still think of ourselves as Hondas just because we see Honda appearance. But God doesn't see the outer appearance as Samuel said, or as God said to Samuel, he sees the inside of the heart. And according to the New Testament, in the inside of your heart, if you're a believer of Jesus, and in the inside of my heart is the spirit of the living God. Therefore, you're different. That's why the scripture says, old has become new. Old has died, passed away, gone away. It's no longer, it's no longer in existence, but the new has come. There is a new reality because there is a new identity. Therefore, a new purpose and a new potential. And that's the good news. The gospel is good news, is amazing. So let me tell you about yourself. When you look at yourself in the mirror, you see Honda, you see Honda on the outside, but you have to remember the word of God so that when you are not reading, the word of God and walk away from the mirror, you still remember who you are. On the inside, you're different, you're changed, your potential is greater. You have Lamborghini parts on the inside. So how does God see you and I when we walk less or short of or don't walk in our identity now that we have received his spirit inside? He looks us he looks at us and knows that we still have the same mind, so we have to change our ways of thinking, our mindset, our thought process and patterns. And he says to you and I, he's like, come on son, come on daughter. Why are you driving 40 miles per hour? Why are you driving with the confidence of a little old slow Honda? In the inside, you are no longer a Honda. You are a Lamborghini, in fact. Why aren't you driving 140, 180, 210, 215, 220? You are a Lamborghini. This is God. He's reminding us, you are a Lamborghini. That's why the Bible says that he will teach us all things, guide us into all truth, and bring scriptures to our remembrance. He wants us to read. He wants us to spend time in his presence because in that, our mindsets are transformed and renewed so that we no longer look like those Hondas that we used to be so that we can walk like Lamborghinis, aka the new man, so that we can put on the new man and put off the old man and it's old ways of doing things and behaving and conduct. This is what God is looking at us like. He's like, I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you as to why you're living like that. I'm trying to remind you who you now are. Learn your potential. Drive, baby boy. Drive, baby girl. You are a Lamborghini. Why are you driving forward when you can go 220? 
He is looking at us like, why are we still going back to the same old videos, same old music, same old porn, same old drugs, same old cigarettes, same old alcohol, whatever your heart convicts you of, whatever you see in the word of God that is not of the new man, he's looking at it, he's saying, you're a Lamborghini now, you have greater potential, why are you driving so slow, yeah, you still are my son, yeah, you're still my daughter, but you're missing out on a whole lifetime of driving, vroom, through the freeway fast like a Lamborghini and getting to where you need to get faster, quicker, and more efficiently. It's not that it doesn't make you a Lamborghini, you're just missing out on a whole lot and because people are counting on you, they're counting on you to give them a ride, they're counting on you to take them somewhere as the light of the world, as sons and daughters of God who come like Jesus came to serve, a lot of people are missing out on the anointing in your life, on the love that is in your heart, on the possibilities and abilities and potential of what you have and carry because of the Holy Ghost in you because you're driving like a Honda. What is God thinking? What is God saying, he's saying, hey, get up, dust off, brush your shoulder off, and forget your shortcomings, forget how you failed this morning, yesterday, last week, remember you're a Lamborghini, think of yourself like a Lamborghini, and drive, don't look back, you might look like a Honda on the outside, but hey, my spirit in you, and you are able to live holy, you are able to bear good fruit, you are able to love and to forgive and to be merciful, you are able to heal the sick, you are are able to prophesy, to hear my voice, to spend time in prayer, and to know me personally and intimately and privately, and on the outside publicly, you will shine and do mighty and great works, and people will glorify me because of you, because of the appearance, because of the efficiency, because of the power and the potential that they see in you, my Lamborghini. I want to encourage you today, read the word of God and read about who you've become. In the new covenant, you are a son of God. Your heart has been made new, you have been made whole, you have been forgiven of your sins, you are the righteousness of God, and you are a son of God who is called to the same ministry of reconciliation as Jesus Christ himself, and he said, as the Father sent me, so I send you, and the Bible says that as he is, so are we in this world, hey, don't give up, and don't think of yourself as a handle no more, because that is a lie, and that is a stronghold on the mind, bring those thoughts down, and remember the word of God, and remember that you are able, because of the one who's in you, you have become brand new and your potential out this world 220 baby let's go i want to encourage you to follow me on instagram or youtube nick acosta facebook nick acosta and um if you like these shirts go ahead and contact me on facebook or reach out to me i will get them out to you as soon as possible got whole lots of them these are the type of shirts that you're just that you wear as you're walking outside going through your day people come up to you for prayer you're able to show them the lamborghini that you are and the rise that you can give them hey man if people need encouragement love healing they'll come up to you for that even if you're out there reaching out to people on outreaches and just praying for people. Even if you're walking up to people, you're only one person, you will miss a lot of people. You will miss a lot of people that are actually dying and hungry and waiting for a Christian to come up to them. But when they see your shirt and they see you not coming up to them, they might come up to you. So I encourage you to get these. They're only $15. And I love you guys. Let's stay in touch and remember who you are. A Lamborghini. Don't drive like a Honda. Not because you're not a Lamborghini, but because you can do so much better. And there's such a great life driving like a Lamborghini. Amen. Love y'all. Take care.